Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical P shape. And this code is also similar to the previous pattern programs. So let's begin with the code. Alright this is our output and here we can see stars in different row and column. To print stars in different row and column we are using two for loop. One is to print star in row and another one is to print stars in column. And here we can see seven rows and five columns. So here we can see the for loop and here row is variable name and we are using range function. And this for loop is to print stars in the row. There are seven rows in our output. So I'll mention seven here. So range will be from zero to seven. And next inside that first for loop we are using second for loop and this for loop is to print stars in the column and here call is the variable name and we are using range function here and in our output there are five columns are there so I'll mention five here and inside this second for loop we are using if else conditional statement that is we need to print stars in alphabetical P shape. For that we need condition that's why we are using if else conditional statement and here after if keyword we need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star for that we'll see the output first we'll begin with the column so we'll see at the column 0 we want star in each row right so first I'll check whether column is equal to equal to zero and I'll use logical or operator and in the case of logical or operator if any one of the input is true then output will be true. So if any one of the condition will be true then it will print star that's why I used or here and next we'll go to the column four. We want to print star but at row 1 and row 2 right so I'll check whether column is equal to equal to 4 at that time row should be 1 or row should be 2 this is my second condition where we are checking whether column is equal to 4 if it is true then any one of this must be true so that's why I used logical and here in the case of logical and if both the input is true then only output will be true so when column equal to 4 if any one of this is true then only it will print star okay so this is my second condition next now we are done with the columns right so now we'll concentrate on the rows and here we can see at row 0 and row 3 we want to print star and at that time column should be greater than 0 and less than 4 because I want to print these three stars and these three stars. So I'll write condition like this or I'll check whether row is equal to equal to 0 or row is equal to equal to 3. If it is true then column should be greater than 0 and column should be less than 4. And this is my third condition. And here we are checking whether row is equal to 0 or row equal to 3. If it is true then this should be true that is column should be greater than 0 and less than 4 then only it will print star okay these are my three condition and here colon and next and inside the if body I'll print star that is if any one of this condition becomes true here there are three conditions are there if any one become true then it will print star there and here we can see end is equal to empty string in the print by default end value will be slash n 
but in our output after printing one star i want another star immediately after that i don't want any space or new line between them that's why i used empty string here and next if this condition become false then control goes to the else part and it will print space okay so here end equal to space and here we can see space right this is all because of the else execution here why i mention end equal to space why not only space why can't we mention like this right it's because as i said in the print default value of end will be slash n then here when control comes here it will print space and control goes to the next line that is here if it print space here then control goes to the next line so next space will be printed here okay in this place so we won't get stars in required pattern that's why i mention end equal to space here next inside the first for loop here we can see this for loop inside this for loop we are using print it's because after printing stars in one row we want to go to the next line so now we are done with our code so we need to save this and run this and here we can see the output Okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care